Quentin Johnston, the rookie drafted in the first round, pick 21 out of TCU. Thoughts on Quentin Johnston? I think his rookie year he's going to struggle. So in Dynasty, in Dynasty, I don't even love where he's drafting because he's in a lot of cases going before Addison. He's going right after JSN and before Addison. I don't love that. I'd rather have Addison over Quentin Johnston. Um, so I would flip flop those there personally. But um, you know, good career at TCU. Um, pretty good route runner. He contested catch he was okay right he wasn't great and um when he went up against a really stout secondary um in in georgia in the national championship game it, it just kind of disappeared now some of the pressure on um on the quarterback was was with that because he had a decent game against michigan right and michigan's no slouch so he had a pretty decent game against Michigan. Georgia kind of keyed out, and he was one of those key guys that they wanted to shut down, and they did. So um, it'll be interesting as it translates here to the pros. I think with him being, you know, in most cases, the third or fourth option in any um, in any offensive game plan, I think that's okay. You'll probably see him with, you know, three, maybe four targets a week, something like that here to kind of start and see how he handles things. Uh, we're going to see how well he can block Right, because if you're checking down to Austin Eckler and Eckler is going to see another 120 plus targets, your receivers have to block. Right, that's part of the game plan and being able to get him uh, on the field and stay on the field. So there's some possibilities there, but I like him more as kind of that Keenan Allen. Uh, I say replacement, but the Keenan Allen substitute. Right, if Allen goes down, Johnston kind of fills into that role, or a year or so from now, if Keenan Allen, you know, decides to hang it up and call it good, I think Quentin Johnson kind of steps into that um, more of the X than what a Mike Williams would do. And, and kind of where he's going, right? He's going off the board, wide receiver 44, um, pick 95 overall. There's a lot of guys in that kind of range that I would I would be looking for more so than Quentin Johnson, right? Like Evan Ingram's going right and around there. I'd rather take my shot on Evan Ingram. Uh, Cortland Sutton would rather take my shot on Cortland Sutton. Elijah Moore, I I might I might take my shot on Elijah Moore uh, just because I think he's kind of that second option in Cleveland there versus the the fourth or potentially fifth option in Los Angeles. So. Um, you know, or if I was switching it up and I was looking running back, AJ Dillon, and Antonio Gibson, kind of both in those uh, right in that range there, I'd, I'd probably look that route. Like there's other options in that, um, uh, in that draft capital range that I'd rather go with. And that would be what I'm going to do. I I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to be hard pressed to have any Quinton Johnston on any of the rosters that I'm managing this year. 